Hi guys and welcome to All About the Philippines. Now today we're going to have a look at the benefits of marrying in the Philippines. So you have a Filipino girlfriend you've been with for a while and now you're getting to the stage of thinking about getting married and in particular where you're going to get married. Are you going to get married in your country or are you going to do it in the Philippines? I know when my wife and I got married back in 2014. That was on the advice of a migration agent who suggested we get married in Australia so we could ensure that when we did the partner visa here that everything would be above board and it would go smoothly, whereas he felt in the Philippines that doesn't always happen. And I was very naive around visas and the way of doing things and really even about Filipino culture. So to this day I've really regretted getting married in Australia and I'll tell you why in just a moment. So stay tuned. So as I say a lot of thought really needs to go into this and a lot of thought and consideration around your Filipina and what she might want. Now from my experience my Filipina just agreed with whatever I said and I thought she was happy to do that and I think she still is happy that we just got married but I know deep down inside she would have really liked to have got married in the Philippines and shared that special day with her family and I have no doubt her family would have really enjoyed being at the wedding and watching her get married as well. And I do feel in a sense that I've robbed my wife and her family of experiencing that special moment. And we can never change that now. You know, uh, five, six years down the track, it can't be changed. So it really is an important time to make sure you consider everybody in this and work out what's best for you guys. And I do believe there are three main benefits of getting married in the Philippines. But having said that, you do have to be very careful when you do marry in the Philippines that the person marrying you is qualified to do so and is very experienced at doing marriages in the Philippines. There are some people in the Philippines who aren't registered to do this, but they'll do it as a way of making money. So you really need to be very careful that whoever you get to marry you is certainly qualified to to do the ceremony and make it all legal. And of course, in the Philippines, things move slowly. So another downside is that it does take a lot longer to get everything organized in the Philippines and you do need to have a lot more patience. But if you follow the processes that they set out and just take your time, chill out a little bit and don't get so frustrated, then you'll find that things will go rather smoothly for you and your Filipina. So earlier I said there was three main points that I could see why it's a good idea to marry in the Philippines. Now the first one is, as I've already spoken about, is that she gets to get married in front of her family, which is a big thing for the Filipina and her family. It's something your Filipina has probably dreamed about for a very long time, about who will be a bridesmaids and who will be the matron of honour and how the wedding will look and where she'll have it, all those sorts of things. She's probably already run that in her mind many times. So for most Filipinas, that's going to be a big thing to want to get married in front of a family. So the second point is that many Western men may not want to marry in their own country or have that marriage recognised in their own country due to the harsh divorce laws. So in the event someone gets divorced in their Western country, say America, Canada, Australia, England, the divorce laws can be quite harsh on a man. And if a man has previously lost out in the divorce courts through a previous relationship, then he's going to want to protect what he came into the relationship with. Now, people can do, I think, things like prenuptial agreements, but whether or not they're secure and reliable, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. But aside from that, 
a lot of men are just saying, no, I don't want it recognized in my country because of those reasons. So I'll go to the Philippines to do it. And that's all good and well. But the thing around this that you've got to be careful of, and remember, I'm no lawyer in this, so you would need to get legal advice, is that if you wanted to bring your Filipina to live in your country, then you would need to have that marriage recognized in your own country anyway. So it could be a moot point, really. But if you were going to go and live in the Philippines, no dramas. You don't have to have it recognized in your country. So that's something that if you're thinking of bringing her to your country, you'd really need to check with your lawyers or your migration agent or somebody who can give you solid, sound advice around that part of it. And the third reason, which is fairly obvious, I guess, is that it's far cheaper to have a wedding and a reception in the Philippines compared to having it in a Western country. You'll certainly get a lot more value for your money uh, from everything from you know buying your wedding rings through to the service itself, having paid a celebrant to do the service, the reception, uh, all the clothes that you need to make for the bridesmaids and the groomsmen it's all cheaper to get done in the philippines so you can have a pretty bang on wedding with many guests and it won't cost you anywhere near the amount that would cost you inside the usa or australia now another option is also that you could get married in both countries you could have a very small service in your country and then you could go and have a bigger service in the Philippines directly after. So your wife and her family have that experience together. But whatever you do, I do suggest that you do have a wedding in the Philippines. And that's mainly because you don't want to feel the way I felt for the last six years. And I do feel guilty about it, as I've said. And I wish I could change that now, but unfortunately I can't. But ultimately you guys will make your own decision uh, and you'll do what you, you feel is right for you and your Filipina. But whatever decision you come up with, it's important that you make that decision together with your Filipina. Anyway, guys, I hope this video has given you something to think about. And if you're thinking of getting married anytime soon, I wish you all the best with your marriage. And if you've enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video around with all your networks and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell to get more videos feel free to leave your comments below in the comments section i'd love to hear if you've been married in the philippines what you did or if you're planning to get married in the philippines what your plans are thanks very much for watching guys i appreciate all your support take care and bye for now